Hello, my name is Juan Carlos and today we are going to talk about the round table analysis, the do's and don'ts, the pros and cons, why is it important and uh, what challenges do we have when we do a round table. So let's begin. Do you know that we frequently use round table discussion even though we do not know that we are doing one? First, we have to go back in time in order to understand the purpose and the use of a round table discussion. According to the symbology of the King Arthur's round table, the round table uh, meant to shift power from just the king, who normally sat at the head of the table and spoke to everyone listened. With a round table, it was a symbolic of the fact that people seated at the table had equal weight and equal say in matters. It was almost democratic. It wasn't a true democracy because uh, the king was still the king and only the knights were at the table, but it was a move uh, toward the belief that everyone is um, important and everyone equally valuable. If we compare this information uh, in what today a round table discussion means, it is pretty much the same. Now we can talk about the pros and the cons. First, we're going to begin with the pros um, that are that a round table discussion gives all the participants like a fair and equal participation among other ones. That is really important because participants are enabled to give a background information, give opinion as to other participants, um, uh, something and question every detail. So it gives a good environment to share and a specific topic uh, and learn more in order to have a better idea of the topic we are presenting. Also, uh, it encourages spontaneous conversation uh, due to minimal facilitation. When all the participants contribute, uh, there is like a greater chance that the discussion takes into consideration all the important points we want to mention. This conversation uh, makes every participant to talk about issues of disagreement at a convenient time. This benefits increase both the quality of decisions and the speed of the process. Why? Because this discussion is like a, a good way to clarify some ideas and so we can have this quality of, of decisions and the speed because all the participants have to know that they have a time but that they can give their opinion. On the other hand, we have the cons, of course. Uh, the cons of this format include uh, the capacity uh, constraints, the difficulty in managing the rigid agenda because we also have a limited time uh, for this discussion and the potential for the seating arrangement to undermine the basic reason for the format, which is to enable open free-flowing discussion. Uh, the group in a round table uh, vary depending on the place and also the topic, but it affects the time that each participant um, has, of course, because if we have more participants, the time is going to be less for each one. And um, it also affects the place because we cannot have a lot of participants in a small room, right? And the rigid agenda discussion requires of frequent, frequent interventions by the facilitator or the moderator, which undermines the basic reason for the format. So these are practically uh, the cons of the round table. In order to have a good uh, round table discussion, we have things we can do or things we should do and things we shouldn't do. So let's begin with the do's. You can ask a question when you have one. It is important to ask questions to clarify uh, an idea from another participant. 
you can feel free to share an illustrator not just an illustrator you can show a video or you can show a quote whatever necessary to show your idea or your point of view you can request an example if a point uh, is not clear if you want to clarify an, an idea you can say can you can you um, give me an example please so um, so the idea is clear for you search for ways in which you can apply a general principle or idea to your work okay always general to specific and finally think of ways you can pass on ideas uh, to your subordinates because sometimes it is difficult to sh uh, to show an idea or to uh, to pass your idea but you can to you have to um, know some ways you can go through your idea so everyone can listen so everyone can um, accept your idea or maybe they can think about things you are saying in order to um, have a good participation but there are other things you don't have to do and these are the don'ts you, you you don't have to close your mind by saying this is uh, all fine in theory because one idea can be a good detail for you or an idea can clarify uh, something about the topic so uh, be open mind also assume that all topics covered uh, will be equal that is really important why a roundtable discussion is important well a roundtable discussion is really important because uh, it gives the chance to the person to present a topic to other people uh, and not just to, to present a topic also to give opinions to clarify ideas to ask questions uh, to um, express point of views to maintain an idea that is why a roundtable discussion is really important because you can also learn about uh, the things other people are saying, the ideas other people are showing and sharing, and um, the examples you can get to understand the topic. That is the importance of a round table discussion. Also, as I already said, is to maintain your point of view, and um, and this is very important. Be skeptical. Do not buy everything you hear. Okay, a round table discussion gives you that opportunity to show what the things, uh, wh what are the things you believe, and to show that you have an opinion, you have your ideas, you have a theory, you have example, and that you are sure of what the things, uh, of what things are you saying. So that is the importance of a round table discussion. The last point um, I want to talk in this video are the challenges we can have in a roundtable uh, discussion. There are many challenges as other presentations. One of one of the challenges um, is that you have a limit time. Okay, you have a rigid agenda. You're gonna go through that agenda because all the participants have the equal opportunity. That is, that is clear. Also, um, the amount of people you can have, we already said that we can have a lot of people depending on the place this is taking or the topic we are discussing. And, and that, is, um, that is something we have to have in mind. And another challenge is that um, we have to be sure of the things we are saying, okay? To maintain our point of view as I already said. The challenges are going um, are going to be to be there in every presentation and in each presentation we can find different challenges depending on the participants, depending on the moderator, okay? The moderator and the participants are the ones that are going to put these challenges too because the moderator has to be strong enough to say this is your toy uh, this is your toy 
okay or stop saying something uh, in a good way right because um, uh, this this guy um, needs to be clear that the limit time is important and that every participant has to, to speak and the participants that is a challenge because, because um, some people like to talk more than other people but other people has to talk as equal okay so these are like main challenges of the round table discussion the round table discussion is another way to do uh, a presentation it is a very effective uh, presentation way because it allows uh, a lot of participants participants to uh, show their ideas to um, show the topic in different ways and so other people can clarify everything that they want it is a good way to present because it gives the chance to get as much ideas as possible in an equal and friendly way so if you are trying to get other other points of views of a topic or to show your idea to other people but uh, with like a, a, a good discussion a friendly discussion you can use a round table discussion it is a good way it is an effective way so feel free to try this method thank you for watching this video and see you in another in another one.